This year, World Oceans Day is growing the global movement to call on world leaders to protect 30% of the world's oceans by 2030, with a campaign called 30 Times 30. Gibraltar has already designated 63% of its territorial waters as a marine protected area, known as the Southern Waters of Gibraltar MPA, within which there are highly protected no-fishing zones. As calls increase to extend highly protected marine areas in the Mediterranean, the Environment Department says it will continue its work in BGTW to ensure our waters are internationally recognised as an important marine biodiversity hotspot, requiring strict conservation measures. Here on The Rock, World Ocean Day was also used by the Nautilus Project to announce the winners of its recent competition encouraging children to think about their carbon and plastic footprint. It was 3rd of May 2018 when we officially became the fourth most populated part of the United Kingdom. All of Gibraltar should do their best to protect our much loved oceans and we all, and we all love it when, some come around, when com summer comes around and we can visit the beaches with our families and friends. But if we don't look after our oceans, the water will become unpleasant to swim in and the sea creatures will continue to die. Most people now know the message we are trying to put across. We must protect our oceans. Well done. There was an overall prize for the school which had the best carbon-friendly initiative. This went to Loreto Convent for their Traffic-Free Tuesday initiative. A ceremony at the Alameda Gardens saw Environment Minister John Cortez handing out prizes. Awards were given for a variety of entries, including art, poetry and songs, all sticking to the environmentally friendly theme. A total of 17 prizes were awarded, with the minister also giving a passionate speech. We mustn't forget the state the world is in. We mustn't forget the climate emergency. We mustn't forget that if things don't change, more people will die from, from the effects of climate change than have sadly died from COVID. So it's all very, very relevant.